Hello and welcome to this fourth video. In this video, we're going to be creating a list form power app. In our three videos, we've, we've our forms have all been based on a Canvas app, which and there is a, a difference as you will see. You know, so you know the HR department they want their own form. They wanted to be a list form because um, you can be able to control access to this list. So we're going to control access to this list and give just the users that need access to the to this list access to this list. So um, if you don't know how to do that, if you come up here to this cogwheel, if you go to list settings and you see this permissions for this list, you come in here and right now it says this list inherits from the parents, which, which means that whoever has access to the site to the parent will have access to this list. And so what the HR department wants is they don't want um, everybody to have access to this. So, of course, what you would do is you would stop inheritance. And once you stop inheritance, you come in here and then you will remove all users except those that actually need access to it. So let's say the owners need access to this and then you remove everyone else. And then what you do is remove user. And this list has unique permissions. Okay, so let me do that again because I don't know why. Okay, let's do that again. I think I did something wrong. So, oh, you know what? I removed the wrong group. So let's, let's say this group needs permissions. And then we're going to remove. Remove. All right, there you go. I had... I had deselected it. I mean, I selected the wrong group and it, it removed it. So, um, but I'm just, this is just an example. So let's go back to our list. Now that only HR has access to this list, we're going to go back to our employee onboarding and we want to create our form. So, you know, if you look at this form here, this is just hideous. Um, it's, it's too many things in this form that we don't even need. Um, we wanted to make it we want to make it look a little bit prettier so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and then we're going to customize with power apps so when this comes up it has the same look and feel as a regular canvas app what we had been working with in our previous videos still same functionality is just that it's going to be a list there's a couple maybe a few things that are different and i'll try to point those out as uh, as we go through this so let's wait for the form to come up and and let's start building our list form app. Okay, here is our list form app. And so what we want to do is we want we don't want some of these things. So we're gonna come here and let's see. Really, all the all the the HR person would need is just they don't need the manager because the user will fill that out. So we're going to remove that um, and we're going to we will leave some of this other stuff here. Maybe they know they, they know what the start date is. If not, that's OK. Um, but for sure, the three that we need are employee ID, employee first name and last name. So what I like to do is I always like to come to our file. I want to make this a little bit bigger. This is basically the size of a mobile phone. And since we're going to be dealing with a canvas, I mean, not a canvas, like a laptop or desktop, we're going to come here, you know, a bigger screen. And we're going to go to display and we're going to say landscape. So watch the size of this here. So landscape. And as you can see, it got a little bit bigger. You can change the size if you wanted to. All right. So here our form is bigger. I'm going to bring this down. Um, we're going to say, oops. oops, so sorry, that's my phone. Okay, sorry about that. I wasn't expecting a call out of nowhere. So what are we going to do? We're just, just going to make this look a little bit pretty. We can also use something called themes. So let me add, let me come here first and let me come in and do an insert and I'm just going to add a rectangle down here. 
Okay. So let's do this. Oops, form. Okay. So one of the things that that's different from a Canvas app, as you can see right here, it has this SharePoint integration. This also has its own properties. And this is just the connection between the form and SharePoint. In the Canvas app, this SharePoint integration isn't really there. Um, so this is just saying, hey, this there is a list that this is connected to. And as you can see, the data source is the employee onboarding. For the Canvas app, we had to we had to go and connect to the list that we wanted. So that was that's the one of the big differences. Um, so I'm going to add a label here. So add a label. And add a label. And I'm going to come to this panel. And the property, I'm going to go to the property. It also exists here as well. So let's say property here. We're going to say um, employee. Uh, let's say new employee onboarding form. Okay. And then we're going to come here. We're going to bold it up. I'm going to say 25 for the font. Um, let's center it. Let's make it, let's change the color to this. Um, you, if you also wanted to, you can come here to home and they have this theme look and feel. So you can, if you select the theme, as you can see, it, it changes all the elements as well. So this is something you can do. Let's put the great theme here. So let's do this. And then I'm going to just come in here. What I would usually do is just kind of bold all these, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. And so this is our form. So what we need to do now, and as you can see, this is very simple. We're just going to add, now let's just add a button. Before I showed you an icon, let's add a button to this. So button. And here's our button. Okay. Let's kind of center it. And you're going to say submit, submit or save or whatever you want to put it. And then we're going to say on select. So the property we want is this on select, sort of like a function. And we're going to tell it what to do. We want it to submit the form, submit form. And the name of the form is SharePoint form one. And when, once it submits it, we can do a reset to kind of uh, reset the form, reset form, reset SharePoint form one, there you go. Um, we do want, if you remember, we do want this field to be required. So required, so we, you, know, you should know how to do this, so uncheck. So we're going to say true. Let's come here and check required. True. And then here as well, required. True. And then let's see what else. And I think that's it. We can leave the, I mean, if the HR person knows this information, they should know what the start date is. So I'm, let's make that required as well. True. Actually, let's not make it required because on the user's form, um, they have to fill that information out. So they fill all this information out. Okay. And when you submit, submit the form and then resets the form. And then let's see what else. I think that is it. We can come in here, preview. 
Let's do a um let's say we can also have it navigate somewhere else. So let's say I had a screen. Let me add another screen. Uh you have these different screens. Let's do the success screen. And Say new employee employee added. New employee added. And so what we can do is we can come to our screen. Let's rename this to say thank you. This is a thank you screen. Thank you. And then we're going to come here. And we're going to click on this button here and we're going to say navigate um, to our thank you screen. And so let's go to our thank you screen and I always have a way from, for users to go back. So let's add a back button. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna add an icon. Let me look for an appropriate icon. I did see one. It's here somewhere. Uh, let's do this back. Actually, there's a, there's another one. Wait a second. Let's just use that. Oh, there you go. Back. Okay. Let me delete this one. Delete. Um, I, I do the best I can to try to name all my icons because you're going to end up having a whole bunch. Back button. Um, so let's put this here. And if you can, try to always use the tooltip back, go back. And so, um, you can use a function called back. Navigate to the previous screen. Let's say cover right. Oops. All right. And let's come to our SharePoint integration. Actually, I'm sorry, uh, our form, SharePoint form. And we're going to go to our on success property remember oh so it does have a reset form so I need to I need I can remove the other one but what I wanted to do here is I also wanted to say notify notify Success. So I can come back here. Uh, I really don't need this reset form because it, it does it for you in the on success. Awesome. So let's see how this works. Let's come in here. Um, this is their ID. Um, New employee added, new employee added, and then you can go back. Oh, it did not reset. Interesting. Okay, so I guess I need that reset. So let's try this again. Mm. 
reset form share point form one okay all right let's do this again um, let's say submit all right so now if we go back it didn't reset the form that's weird um okay i need to look into that later i don't want to take too much in our next video i'll i'll, I'll revisit that but let's save this i'll revisit that and see why it isn't reset so let's save this publish so now it has a link here to take us to our form. Let's click on that. Now, usually when you click on new, it's not going to, it'll still show you the old one. So all we need to do is just refresh the page. And there is the form. They can come in here. I don't know what Wonder Woman's name is. As you can see, I like the uh, Marvel characters. Submit. Okay. Oh, okay, here it reset the form. So, okay, I don't know what's going on. So that's how that works. Um, Let's see if any of our workflows would kick off. Okay, there's one that's running. So, yep, our workflows are kicking off. And that's all we need. So. Now, our HR department, they are happy because they have a pretty looking form, you know. So now what we're going to do is, um, what was wrong with the form? What we're going to, in our next video, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, um, the HR department form, sort of like an admin section that tracks all of the different forms and we're going to do some pretty complex stuff there track the form we're going to have a status i'm going to add a status column in here of, you know if it's just not started or in progress not you know completed and based on the statuses selected certain things happen we're going to try to keep a count of what's going how many is, how many is on st not started how many is um you know just different things and we're going to use http request so a lot of different things um, that I'm going to be sharing with you all, of, of things that I've learned in building uh, Power Apps applications uh, and things to watch out for. All right. Thanks for watching this video. And um, please, as always, leave your comments below, like the video, share it. Um, any questions you have, put it below. Thanks. Bye.